Hello beautyachis, it's Ayan, the Makeup Mariachi, coming to you live, semi-live, from Baldwin Village, Los Angeles, California. My hair is just in the way, girl, hold on. So today's gonna be a fun video. Um, I'm performing a ritual to let go of my ex once and for all, and all the trauma associated with my ex. And I'll talk a little bit about it while I'm doing it or before I do it. But um, I'm heading to the park right now. You'll find out why in a bit, so stay tuned. All right, hi, beauty -achis. So it's Ayan. Um, it's a lovely day out today. Oh my God. Okay, so we are here today because recently I've been going through a lot of introspection, a lot of like just self-discovery mostly relating to my trauma relating to my first love my first like relationship that was based fully in love that destroyed me because what ended up happening was uh, he cheated on me and as a result i feel like i have had a lot of difficulty dealing with people that i have an aff affinity towards or like affection for and them liking someone else or having interest in someone else. That has triggered all that trauma, all of that like, just kind of like vulnerability in me for 11 plus years. This relationship happened in 2010. And let me tell you the story. So I met him, we were in high school. I was in another relationship at the time. My first relationship actually ever. And what was I like 11, 12? And so we became friends on Facebook. We uh, met there. I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know that we went to the same school or anything. And we were just talking. And what ended up happening was I asked him what school he went to. And he was like, that, you know, my school. And I was like, oh my God, I go there too. And, you know, we met up because we were both gay. And um, we were hanging out like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And even everyone around us, all of our friends were like, are y'all going now? And I'm like, no, I have a boyfriend. We're just friends. But obviously, like, he was trying to get together. And so we, I was conflicted a lot. And so I was really just weighing out my options, as I do as a Libra rising. I'm always like, where can I find the balance in this? So we ended up getting together. I ended up cutting my losses with my, with my other boyfriend. And it was sad. And But you know what? I think it was great because Maybe that's one of the first instances where I remember choosing myself, you know, and choosing my happiness. I feel like when, when it's about love, I'm like unstoppable. I'm like, I can make those decisions, right? And so we ended up getting together. We had our first date. We went to go see Toy Story 3 in 2010 when it came out. And it was so cute. And you know, it was just such a cinematic first date. We like took the bus home and we were just like kind of, you know, just walking through the city and holding hands and being gay because it was like still kind of revolutionary back then. And I feel like we were just both fulfilling that kind of need in each other's lives. And it was just beautiful and amazing. Part of today's ritual actually will be um, parting ways with some objects that reminded me of him that he actually gave to me. So I was big on like writing notes back then, right? I was really big on like um, just being cute, you know, just kind of, expressing my love and my thoughts in writing because that was kind of, it's always been easier for me to do that. And so I wrote him, I think a note and he wrote me a note back. And actually, well, let me start here. One of the very first things that he gave to me was um, these two pages and it's titled Words I Like. And it says 60 words from me to you, Friday, March 26th to Sunday, June 13th, 2010. So he's been, he was, he had been writing this for a while and it's just 60 words, you know, with their dictionary definitions. And the last one is love, like cheesy shit, right? And I'm, and I'm just, that's my shit right now. That's what I wanted. And that's really what my first relationship wasn't really giving me. And like, truthfully, he was like pressuring me into sex, into like sexual stuff. And so I wasn't down and it was uncomfortable. And so I think ultimately that's also what made the decision easier for me. And so to receive something like this, it's just so, it was so on brand for me. <laughs> However, 
since then, I've really been like, I've latched on to this kind of like representation of what I want a relationship to be. And he also wrote me this like cute little note. There's like drawings. And I think I've always just held on to these. I've always justified it by saying, oh, I just like to hold on to memories, you know, and, um, and look back on the past, who I was, yada, yada, yada. But I think they've been weighing me down and they've been keeping me, they've been holding me back from discovering what else love could be like for me. Because I've always just imagined recreating something like this in my relationship. Just, I've had this expectation, this like desperate need to like get back to that, you know, kind of like to pick up where I left off. Anyway, so he gave me those, it was super cute. We worked together for like two months. Our relationship was during summer, right? Cause we had literally, it was on our last day of school that we went out on our first date. So it was just kind of very like, you know, coincidental. And well, he would come here a lot to my house cause school was kind of on the way for him. And then he would like ride the bus on his way home, come to my place, hang out a little bit. We would hang out at this park, which was like steps away from my house all the time. And this was kind of our little getaway. You know, this was our little um, home, I guess, away from everything else and where we could just exist and love each other and be, be gay. Not that my parents wouldn't, you know, my parents were super accepting. They loved him like so much. They, you know, they really, they were just happy as long as he made me happy. Um, and that's all I could ask for. And that happened, that just kind of went on for a while, right? So relationship is progressing, you know, talks of sexual acts come and at that point i'm kind of a little like iffy because i had just had that thing with the guy before but it was different right now you know because like i trusted this guy i've been with him for a while now and i was like you know maybe and he was like well i would never pressure you to do something you don't want to do and i'm like okay but i felt the need to do it you know i felt like and i wanted to do it so one day we um went to the mall right by here and we had agreed to meet up and um i sucked his dick in the Macy's dressing rooms and he had a really nice dick it was like it was like big it was uncut and I'm just like I was like thank you <laughs> to this day like it's just I feel like it's just been a coincidence that like the guys have been that I've been with are like more endowed I guess than most I've never really cared but it was just it was just nice I was just like I felt connected to him right and so I was really feeling like our relationship was going somewhere and a few days later, he calls me and he says, he's just cr like crying, I think. And he's like, kind of like out of breath. And he's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I apologize and like no context. And so I'm like, what's going on? And he proceeds to tell me that he met somebody on the bus, on the train, on the way home. And you know, he was cute. He was like this older guy and that he kissed him. And so immediately I was just kind of like hurt, obviously. And he says like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't, like, I don't deserve you. Like you're like, I'm just so like, he just was very like degrading, right? To himself. And I just remember just, you know, kind of taking it and being like, you know what? We're stronger than this. And I'm like, I'm willing to talk about it and move past it and just, you know, kind of like, I, I love you. Like we can, we can, get past this together and I'm like well it's not like you're gonna see him ever again right and he said well no um but you know just know that I'm like so sorry and this and that so I was like well okay well I'm hurt you know but I think we can get through this the next day comes and he calls me again I don't know it was like different like it was like it was kind of the same energy but he wasn't as apologetic anymore I think I don't know it was a long time ago so memory is is flawed but he calls me again and he tells me that he ended up meeting with him again and that they had sex in a bathroom in like a, a public park and so at that point i was destroyed at that point i was like you lied to me that you weren't going to see him again and then you had sex with him. He had never had sex before. We were like gonna, I guess, be each other's first. And to do it in like a public park, like, 
there's just there were just so many levels of disrespect that honestly at that point I couldn't even I couldn't even process I couldn't even fathom that somebody would do that to me and so I said the same thing I was like I'm willing to get past this if you are like um, but like that's that just sucks you know and he's like yes I'm so sorry like I really don't deserve you like again with the self degrading stuff like at that point I didn't know what to do and I was just like I just need to talk to you um, we just need to talk about it and so we did and it was just weird like I just couldn't see him the same anymore he just looked different and unfortunately like I wanted to know you know like what happened exactly and he told me and obviously it wasn't there right but these images came to my mind where I was just just so sad and and so hurt and and I saw it vividly in my head and like since then those images have not left me and that is the feeling that arises for me like that is the trauma that comes up for me when I'm like crushing after someone and if I get the sense that they're interested in someone else you know and I have these like un unexpressed feelings or like I haven't like really like gotten there with them I just get hurt and I just get so inside my feelings and like it just becomes resentment at that point you know and so it, it's this toxic cycle of like this trauma that has just stayed with me for so long because I didn't know what to deal with it how to deal with it um, and so this came up recently because I saw somebody at the club um, a, a very small crush of mine very small crush who I was like, I was like looking forward to like hang out with and get to know better, see where we are. So I saw him, he said hi to me and um, he was there with a friend. And you know, I was like, should I do something? Should I do something? I was in a weird headspace at night. So I was like, just leave it, like we'll figure it out. But I was like, it was nice, you know, that he said hi, he recognized me there and um, I turned around and he's just having like a moment with his friend. He was just like hugging him. But in that moment, I felt all of that come up through me like that trigger that trauma like I actually like just observed it come out come into me and like paint what I was seeing and so I was like I was like what the hell is that like why am I aware of this now and immediately I was just like oh my god it's the same exact feeling that I get when I picture that ex with this guy who I literally don't even know what he looks like or like who who this guy is or was but it's just so vivid you know and that's trauma like that's how i made sense of it you know that's how i i guess processed it and i never let go of that and so that was just really insightful i don't know like it was just such a revelation that i could now see where it was coming from and see how it was affecting me and so I started writing and I started like just thinking about it. And then the next day, you know, I partied and, and I was sleep deprived. So I, I usually get like depressed the day after, or, like just kind of very like low energy. And I just wondered, I was like, could I maybe so access our messages? Cause we met on Facebook, right? So all of our messages were on Facebook. I looked through it and I saw all of our messages. I kept scrolling up and I was like, oh my God, like the whole relationship is here. And so I was just reading through it. And I think I've done it like once before, like once in my life at least, I've like looked through these messages, but it was so different this time. It was just such with such clarity that I could just read through this relationship, through these messages that he sent, that I sent. Wow, like seeing my writing, seeing like how I interacted with, <laughs> with him at that time in my life was just so insightful and so interesting. But it was like, I was truly just seeing it for what it was and how it unfolded for the first time and it wasn't like I wasn't like projecting anything from the present to it like I could just see it and just be like wow that is how I was that is what I was and that's what happened and that's how I dealt with it and and where am I now you know and so that's what I asked and and I just sat there thinking and I'm like I'm safe now I am safe I I don't have to let that control me or influence me in my relationships. Like, I don't need that relationship anymore. I don't need my relationships to look like that. I just don't need to pursue that anymore because I'm just 
safe. I know who I am. I know what I deserve. And it's not that anymore. And I didn't realize just how much that was holding on to me until that day. And then I looked, you know, through my stuff because I have a little box like full of like old memories and stuff like that. And so I looked at these documents, these little notes that he wrote me and some notes that I wrote too, which I'm also going to let go of. This whole page full of semi-poetic words that that I appreciate, but that I'm, I'm also letting go of because I don't I don't need it, you know, like. I think I'm finally actually coming into being who I'm meant to be or being who I want to be and and it's not this anymore so I'm gonna burn these and I'm letting go of all of those expectations I'm letting go of everything that I wanted to be at that time that I wanted to have and that I that I still wanted to have for years I'm letting go of this and I'm accepting new experiences and new definitions of love into my life. And I'm not worried about what comes next. I think for the first time I can really say that. I am just ready for, for living my life. And I invite you to do the same. <laughs>